The new economy has given rise to globalization, which has had significant implications on organizational competitiveness. Economic power is driven by the knowledge economy, and for companies to gain an advantage, they must leverage high-skilled labor and intellectual resources. The most efficient way that this can be accomplished is through digital tools and information technology to digitalize and informate the workforce. Companies have adopted and promoted the dominant ideology that technologies are an organizational imperative for redefining and increasing success. Therefore, they are strategically embedded into the contemporary workplace and employees must effectively utilize technologies in the areas of creativity, communication, collaboration and connectivity. This has implications for human resource management, who must ensure that employees can maximise the use of these technologies to achieve organisational objectives. To elaborate on this notion, each member of our team will discuss a particular area, either creativity, communication, collaboration or connectivity, in which technology is central to its generation or operation. The following topics will be examined in relation to the facets of work mentioned the importance of technology, the advantages and disadvantages of technologies, and finally, the impact technologies have on the future of HR. Why are technologies important in generating creativity in the workplace? Digital technologies encourage and facilitate creative intellectual work to develop new products, policies and procedures, and services which can be implemented and lead to organisational growth and adaptation. Mumford and Simonson point out that creative thought is not limited to occupations where typically design and arts are involved, but also practised in unsuspecting fields. Furthermore, Oldham and Silver assert that creative ideas are generated by employees in any job at any level, which is why importance is now placed on creativity across workplaces. Studies of creativity reveal that it involves complex development of ideas through refining, reorganizing and restructuring, appraising the feasibility of implementation and persuading assistance from others to complete creative endeavors, all of which can be achieved with the use of computer technologies. Examples of technologies being used in organizations to enhance and support creativity include electronic communication tools, electronic conferencing tools, collaborative work management tools, and social networking tools. Through digital technologies, employees can access diverse ideas, perspectives, and sources, which results in new, non-redundant information that they can integrate to boost the production of creative ideas. For instance, employees can retrieve company information through the intranet, electronic messaging enables requests for information and third-party data, advice, feedback, socio-emotional and instrumental support can be sought through conferencing and online platforms where a network of professionals and specialists are reachable. All of these contributing to the generation and refinement of ideas. Computing technologies provide freedom and discretion to select sources, collect data and manage the flow of information. Furthermore, it allows work flexibility or telecommuting conditions that enhance employee engagement by fostering autonomy and job satisfaction, thus helping to generate creativity. What are the disadvantages of these technologies on creativity in the workforce? Digital overload may occur from excessive collection of information, then having to screen, process and integrate into new ideas, overwhelming employees and lowering creativity. It can induce stress amongst the technologically unsavvy and blow home work boundaries, negatively influencing creativity. According to Oldham and Bear, it also welcomes judgmental evaluation and criticism. When individuals anticipate criticism, they produce less creative work and self-censor ideas. Those with low creative efficacy avoid intellectual risks required when publicizing their ideas. Computing devices limit the spontaneity of in-person conversations during the creative process and reduce the exchange of supportive ideas, which is valuable in optimizing creativity. What are the implications of these technologies on the future of HR? On top of a disposition to think and act creatively, Donnelly argues that to be creative, people must acquire a technological knowledge base and develop technical proficiencies, which is incumbent on industry educators and managers. Training for physical management, use of equipment and digital tools is key to ensuring technologies are optimised to enhance creativity. 
HR must ensure that the workplace has the capacity to distribute and maintain digital technologies and tools, evaluating whether technologies align with organisational strategy and are making worthwhile returns will be a key HRM responsibility that can impact the way the entire organisation functions. It is clear that to prosper in a competitive global economy, organisations must create and innovate, and this can be most effectively achieved through the application of technologies. Communication is the process of information and ideas shared within a workforce. Therefore, effective communication is a prominent element for the success of an organisation. There is no doubt that the communication is mostly taken for granted. People think that communication is very easy and pay for little attention to this concept. To make sure that an organization is successful, it is needed to include in a smooth communication process. This makes sure that the information, objective, vision, and mission are clearly communicated with all employees that pave the way to better performance. Hence, efficient communication means that the main idea is convenient to the employees in comprehensive manners. Communication is a big part of challenges in today's world, where most of the interaction is conducted via SMS, email, social media, and other online platforms. The introduction of technologies and AI have completely transformed the way communication takes place within the workplace. Technologies are now embedded within a contemporary organization and have become an imperative for organization success. Hence, a successful organization makes sure that it uses innovative and up-to-date technologies and to facilitate the workplace in the communication in recent years. AI has become an integrative part of the effective communication within the workplace. One of the biggest reasons behind the dynamic change that is the AI and machine learning are able to enhance the communication by making sure that repetitive and boring tasks are transferred to virtual robots. This is allowing employees to focus on the complex tasks that have a higher value and build better communication network. Technology and computer interferes have also allowed employees to share data information at a much faster pace. Also, there are better processing information and making data accessible to all employees that further enhance the communication process. Software is allowing employees to replace back of the tasks we take most of their time to data entry, accounting, and finalize their calculation. To ensure employees are free to interact with customers and work on ideas that can add value to your organization and intend to patrol have been introduced at least two decades, which has made the communication very easy in their workplace environment with online software application and company, including virtual meetings and geography boundaries. And at the end, the company will be successful for more severity evidence for the communication in the innovative solution. And with many employees are now in their worry about their job security and in the HRM department. Therefore, communication is very sufficient positioning HRM employees to understand the job assigned to them and delegate the director to the employees and also employees of a misconception. So why are technologies like artificial intelligence and robotics, etc. important to connectivity in the workplace? AI is enabling workplaces to be more connected than ever before. This was recently highlighted through the COVID-19 pandemic, when Australia was locked down and people were forced to work from home. The use of technology like Skype, Zoom, Microsoft Teams went through the roof and all organisations relied on those AI-driven platforms to stay connected to their team members or business associates. There are, however, some negative impacts of remote working. For instance, the blurring of boundaries between home and work, which makes it difficult for people to switch off. You see this occur when people receive an email on their mobile phones. They feel the pressure to respond instantly, no matter where they are or what they're doing. Another example of how AI is connecting people in the workplace is in the healthcare sector, where machines are interpreting patients' vital signs 
and providing real-time analysis to doctors to help them make informed decisions. AI is also helping robotic devices to learn experiences from each other because their sensors can be connected using the cloud. This is called cloud robotics and it enables the learning experience of one AI-enabled device to be uploaded to all the other AI-enabled robotic devices around the world. So how will AI allow people to stay more connected within the workplace? AI is and will have one of the biggest impacts on organisations through performance management. Organisations must realise that performance management is not a one-off conversation at the end of each year, but rather they need to have continuous touch points, data-driven conversations and real-time feedback to deliver positive or constructive feedback. Using AI-driven platforms will enable managers to focus more on the real-time, in-the-moment, strategic interactions with their employees regularly throughout the year. Despite AI being hugely underdeveloped in the field of recruitment, AI organisations need to develop a recruitment strategy utilising AI, data mining, machine learning and Internet of Things to ensure the right candidate is selected. AI will inevitably, though, allow HR to connect with candidates easier, create a bias-free recruitment process, and compete for top talent globally. So what are the future implications for HR in the workplace from AI? People analytics is a popular term which is used by HR and organisations to manage their workforces through the use of sensor technology, cloud-based human resource systems, and machine learning data analysis. AI-driven programs like these allow managers to conduct performance reviews, talent mapping and employee recognition through insights driven by data and algorithms. They can assess employees across the organisation at the same time, helping them identify who the true top performers and future leaders really are. AI is allowing HR to focus on human interactions and become a strategic partner by providing them with an information advantage. In closing, we hope you have gained a deeper understanding behind what motivates organisations to endorse technologies so that employees can produce creative and innovative work, widen their scope of communication, think collectively through collaboration and extend the reach of connectivity. Furthermore, we have encouraged a balanced and pragmatic view by highlighting the advantages and disadvantages that technological diffusion brings to the workplace through offering examples that demonstrate this pertinent push for technology across different sectors of work. It is our responsibility as human resource practitioners to oversee and strategically manage resources to ensure that these technological capabilities are realised to their maximum potential and do indeed facilitate organisational success.